Good morning, First Baptist family, and welcome to a new week of Spiritual Moments. Uh, today is May 11th, Monday, and so I hope that you will start this week uh, right here with our virtual community. Um, I always look forward to, to being able to communicate with you and read scripture with you and, and pray with you. If you have any comments, please post them below. I'd love for you to just say hello so I can say hello back. Um, or any prayer requests, as, as always, same format as we've been utilizing, we'll continue to, to utilize. But if you would, please uh, put those prayer requests below. Missy says, good morning. Good morning to you, Missy. I hope that everybody enjoyed our, our worship yesterday. I, I love being able to just sit back and, and watch and worship along with you after we've put so much time in on Friday and see that finished product. But there are so many people who put uh, so much time and effort into making Sunday what it is. And uh, my goodness, they do such a wonderful job. So thank you to the many talented people here at First Baptist Church who make worship what it is. Brenda Kegley, good morning. Dan Kiernan, good morning. Teresa Jones, good morning. And she says, happy birthday to Terry Olson. So we do want to wish Terry a happy birthday. We miss her. Uh, she was still up in Minnesota, and it's time for, for Terry to come back home to East Tennessee. Um, but we do know that, that Terry has something uh, else to celebrate uh, besides her birthday, and that is the birth of a new grandchild. So congratulations to Terry. Chastity says, good morning, good morning to the Strasser family on Elm Street. Okay, our text for today is John 21, verses 18 through 19. 21, John 21, verses 18 through 19. You can go ahead and turn in your Bibles there if you have a, a, a Bible handy. That will be our, our text for today that we will read through. Uh, we will soon enter to a time of prayer, so if you do have any prayer requests, now is the time to, to put them below. All right. Pray with me, please. We, your servants, give you humble thanks, Almighty God, for all of your gifts so freely bestowed upon us and all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of life, above all, for the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the hope of glory and for the means of grace, we thank you, O Lord. Grant us such an awareness of your mercies, we pray, that with truly thankful hearts we may give you praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves for your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all of our days. Hear us, O Lord. We offer prayers for all those with whom we share the journey those who have been given to us and to whom we have been given, those to whom we promised our faithfulness in our prayers, especially Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Amen. And now for our text from John's Gospel, chapter 21, verses 18 through 19. Very truly, I tell you, this is Jesus speaking, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and to go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. After this, he said to him, follow me. This is at the very tail end of John's gospel. Jesus is speaking to Peter here. This is after Peter has been uh, reinstated. Um, we read this text last week, I do believe. When you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, Jesus says to Peter. This is a euphemism when you stretch out your hands to Peter's martyrdom. We know that, that Peter was martyred um, early on in um, the first century, well, actually mid-first century. Um, and, and so Jesus says, 
there's going to be a day um, when you uh, are martyred because of me. And right after Jesus says, uh, you will stretch out your hands, he says to Peter, follow me. So basically he tells Peter, here's your death sentence, yet I, I want you to follow me. We know that this business of following Jesus Christ is never easy. It's never easy even during the best of circumstances. You remember in the Gospels, Jesus says, what's, what's the greatest commandment? You gotta love the Lord your God. But, but also he adds something else. He says, you have to love your neighbor as yourself. Folks, that's hard enough, loving God and neighbor. And then on top of that hearing that there will be some who find you and the person you represent to be bad news. Jesus says, there will be a day, Peter, when you stretch out your hands. And then he says, follow me. Folks, again, this life is, is never easy. It really isn't. It, would, it wasn't easy before COVID-19. It's not easy during COVID-19. And yet Jesus extends this call. It's always two words. He's been extending this call since the first century. Follow me. Will we? Is the question. Will we follow him to the ends of the earth? Will we get up on the cross with Jesus? I think that's really what he's interested in knowing. Knowing what we know about what is to come. Are we still going to follow? Amen. Please pray with me the prayer that our Lord Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. We do have a few uh, prayer requests that were added later. Sharon Slagle. Prayers for the Hampton family with the loss of Barbara. Of course, we want to remember Merle. And then uh, Glenn and Vivian as well, who were all affected by this loss. So we'll continue to pray for that family who is uh, a part of FBCE. Missy said, pray for Bobby Saylor and Diane Lung. So we'll continue to, to lift these folks up in our prayers. I enjoyed uh, spending time with you, experiencing community. Know that you're loved. And uh, I'm looking forward to the day when we can see each other again. A reopening plan for our church will be coming out this week, so please stay tuned. That will come to you via Facebook, email, and one call. Uh, so we're excited to hopefully get back together. Uh, if you would join me now in the benediction. Christ with you, before you, and behind you. Christ in you, beneath you, and above you. Christ on your right and on your left. Christ when you lie down. Christ when you sit down. Christ when you arise. Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of you. Christ on the tongue of all who speak of you. Christ in every eye that sees you. Christ in every ear that hears you.